you please go on the record with the American people? Did you sexually assault Tara Reid? No, it is not true. I'm saying unequivocally, it never, never happened. And it didn't. It never happened. Do you remember her? Do you remember any, any types of complaints that she might have made? I don't remember any type of complaint she <clears throat> may have made. It was 27 years ago. And uh, I don't remember, nor does anyone else that I'm aware of. And uh, the fact is that I don't remember. I, I, I don't remember any complaint ever having been made. Joe Biden discussing Tara Reid, a former aide to him, who made a very credible allegation about sexual assault. Tara Reid joins us right now. Tara, great to have you back on Newsmax. How are you, first of all? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's a hot summer, but otherwise it's good. Uh, glad to hear. First off, Tara, to refresh everybody's memory, and actually to this point, not everybody knows your story because it wasn't well told. It wasn't widely told. The mainstream media had your story for a long time, yet chose to ignore it. Uh, it had been out for months, many months before that interview, and it was one and done. It was over for Joe Biden. Um, right. What are you thinking now in the wake of what happened to Andrew Cuomo? Well, I think um, what some of the investigation has shown is that um, Andrew Cuomo used his power and resources to silence not only silence and suppress stories about him, but also to discredit the survivors coming forward, like Lindsey Boylan, and then how her personnel was um, file was um, illegally leaked. Um, and then there was a letter where they colluded with Time's Up, an organization supposedly to help women who are in are in these dire straits. And um, they were actually colluding with Cuomo's staff to discredit her. I went through a similar journey. Um, I went to Time's Up for help and didn't know that Anita Dunn, who was one of the founders of Time's Up, this nonprofit supposedly helping sexual assault survivors, she was already working for Joe Biden. And according to FEC, Joe Biden spent $2.2 million on his public relations campaign with her firm to suppress stories like myself and others that may harm him and also build up his image. That's what PR does. So, And yeah, so my story never got told because when you're up against a PR machine, that, that that's, you know, it's well, too hard. Let me ask you this, because the allegations that you made against Joe Biden were of sexual assault, very, very serious. The allegations against um, the governor, mostly sexual harassment, one groping, which I understand might be a misdemeanor. They were not as serious, quite frankly, as what happened to you. But the media, they embraced these women. They embraced the story and they, they pursued it rather relentlessly. But they didn't in your case. Do you have any theories as to why that is? Absolutely. I mean, I think that there was the nursing home issue with Cuomo. He had covered up numbers. He had basically, with his policies, killed um, thousands of people. And the DOJ dropped that investigation. Um, these women came forward. There was such an egregious um, you know, way that they tried to discredit them. It, it drew attention. Um, I think that the Democratic elites were having a battle. And I think that they threw Cuomo under the big bus. He was no longer useful. Also, there's another thing I think people forgot. In 2020, Cuomo wanted to be wanted to replace Biden. Yeah, and run. You're absolutely it. right. I, I, there's some, you know, issues with that. Uh, I I totally agree. I pointed it out uh, earlier this week. Uh, many people were calling for that, and I think Joe Biden remembers. So I think your analysis, quite frankly, is uh, is spot on. Are you at all resentful though that the same? Apparatus And granted, yes, there are other factors kind of motivating people to get Cuomo. But are you a little bit resentful that you did not get more support, more assistance uh, than what's what you're seeing now? I'm not resentful. I'm motivated. I'm motivated to help the survivors behind me get the proper help that they need. Um, you know, and I think it's wonderful that Lindsey Boylan and Charlotte um, had, you know, yesterday to celebrate. Their voices were finally heard. They were vindicated. And he resigned. Um, now it's Joe Biden's turn. <laughs> yes. Well, listen, we could talk about Charlotte, Bennett, 
and Lindsey Boylan. Again, their allegations against Cuomo are not nearly as serious as the ones that you had. And in my opinion, quite frankly, this is me, not as credible as the ones you have against Joe Biden. We haven't seen Andrew Cuomo touch people inappropriately. I'm not saying it didn't happen, although I have my doubts, but we have seen Joe Biden touch all kinds of people inappropriately all the time. And the idea that he may have touched you inappropriately or worse, to me, is far more um, credible, far more, I could, I could conceive of that far more readily than the Cuomo situation. I, you know, I support the Cuomo survivors and I believe them. And um, I knew about Lindsay's, um, you know, uh, allegations before it really came to the public eye. I mean, it was very kind of, you know, simmering around the surface and it wasn't getting a lot of coverage. Same kind of tactic they used with me where they just kind of tried to suppress it. So I believe the Cuomo survivors and what happened because sexual harassment, unfortunately, is rampant in, um, you know, political, the political sphere and the entertainment sphere. But I think more importantly that what needs to happen now is Cuomo had a proper investigation. Where's the investigation into Biden? When J Jen Psaki said it was fully litigated, there's been no litigation. There's been no court cases. There's been no investigation. It yeah. would take one member of Congress to open one. So who will it be? Yeah. It was litigated, what, the New York Times did one story, the Washington Post did a story, and, and Mika Brzezinski got to interview uh, Joe Biden. That's not litigation. That's a, that's a friendly press tour. That's a yeah, going on Morning Joe, that's not, <laughs> that's not an investigation with his buddy's wife. I mean, no. And she asked him softball questions and didn't follow up. Even Jen Psaki did not answer the question about the Secret Service agent. And obviously, there's more to that than what was just kind of thrown out there, right? It just wasn't answered. Was there a written report against Joe Biden? There's question marks. And with mine, there is. There's a sexual harassment report that I filed. There's now a police report. There are things to look at. And there were witnesses um, that cooperated as far as saying that I was removed from my intern, you know, supervising the interns, um, cooperating witnesses that I told them, you know, well, there's no question. There's no question that you were there on Capitol Hill at that time. You worked yeah. for Joe Biden. Every that's been established. There is so much more to establish where you were, what you were doing, what may have happened than say with Christine Blasey Ford and and Justice Kavanaugh. But I want to play uh, what we played on the way in. Mika and the Vice President, then Vice President, and former Vice President, presidential candidate, having a discussion about you. Would you please go on the record with the American people? Did you sexually assault Tara Reid? No, it is not true. I'm saying unequivocally, it never, never happened. And it didn't. It never happened. Do you remember her? Do you remember any, any types of complaints that she might have made? I don't remember any type of complaint she <clears throat> may have made. It was 27 years ago. And uh, I don't remember, nor does anyone else that I'm aware of. And uh, the fact is that I don't remember. I, I, I don't remember any complaint ever having been made. Two things that struck me about that. He said it never happened and it didn't. He didn't say that never happened. He said it. In my mind, maybe I'm taking a leap here. He's referring to an incident. You know what I mean? There's a, the it is a moment in time, perhaps. He also dodged about whether or not he remembered you. It, I, I saw it as a dodge. What did you think when you saw that? Oh, absolutely. He knows exactly who I am. He remembers me because I went to three, I went through protocol. There's a protocol that you go through like any office. You go to your immediate supervisor. If they don't help you, you go to that supervisor. And then I went to the chief of staff which was Ted Kaufman. And I talked with Ted Kaufman about the sexual harassment. I did not talk about the sexual assault at that time. I talked about the sexual harassment. And so then that's when the pressure started. After the assault is when I filed the written complaint and then I was immediately forced out of the office and I lost my career. By the way, you, uh, you told your mother about this, I believe your late mother, who called yes, into Larry King, Larry King Live, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and put the question to the panel. Uh, we have that moment. We're going to play it now. Yes, hello. Um, I'm wondering what um, 
a, a staffer uh, would do, do besides go to the press in Washington. My daughter has just left there uh, after working for a prominent senator and could not get through with her problems at all. And the only thing she could have done was go to the press, and she chose not to do it out of respect for him. Or she had a story to tell, but out of respect for the person she worked for, she didn't tell it. That's true. That's your mom's voice. Yeah. Yeah, I always get a little emotional when I hear it. She died of um, she died of a throat cancer, so I, it, it was really um, something when I got to hear her voice again. So, um, so it was it was yeah, um, that was emotional. And I also gave her a hard time for calling into Larry King. So well, it was a different back. era. It, it was a different era, of course, and uh, yeah. and we maybe we should have that investigation. And I hope we get it. I hope you get it. And Tara, yeah. Tara yeah. Reed, thank you for sharing your story once again. And uh, you're a friend of Newsmax. We wish uh, you all the best, and we hope we can talk again. Oh, thank you so much, and and thank you for playing my, uh, you know, the tape and and so on. I appreciate it. Well, Have a good day. It's evidence, and uh, and I'm sure she was a great lady. Uh, thank you, Tara. We'll be right back. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.